This is the third meditation for Good Friday, part of By Stony Paths, following the way of the cross, using scripture, symbols and time for reflection as we journey with Jesus. The reading for this meditation is from John's Gospel, chapter 19, verses 31 to 34, and 38 to 42. The side of Jesus is pierced by a soldier. The body of Jesus is taken from the cross and buried. As we settle into focusing on this passage, Pick up your stone and your cross and let yourself return in your memory to where the death of Jesus has left you. Notice how you are and how it feels to come back to focus on Jesus, dead. What is drawing you and what is drawing you away? As you acknowledge this, focus on your desire to be here and ask for God's grace to help you as you are with Jesus in his death and burial. John chapter 19, verse 31. Since it was the day of preparation, the Jews did not want the bodies to be left on the cross during the Sabbath especially because that Sabbath was a great day of solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one because of his fear of the Jews, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission, so he came and removed his body. Nicodemus, who had at first come to Jesus by night, also came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, weighing about a hundred pounds. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with the spices in linen cloths according to the burial custom of the Jews. Now there was a garden in the place where he was crucified, and in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Let yourself come back in your mind's eye to this scene. Jesus hanging 
dead on the cross. Notice who is there. How they are. How you are. Watch as the soldiers come. As it becomes apparent that they want to hasten the deaths of those crucified. And coming to Jesus, they see he is already dead. A soldier takes his spear pierces Jesus' side. Watch the flow of blood and water. the time comes when some tenderness can be shown to Jesus. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus arrive with all that is needed to give Jesus a good burial. With Jesus' agony over, put down your cross now and let yourself watch or perhaps even help in your mind's eye with the tending of Jesus' body, the cleaning, the application of spices and oils, the wrapping of the cloth. As these preparations are completed, look at his wrapped body, ready for burial. go with Nicodemus and the others as they take his body, place it in the tomb and seal the entrance with a rock. So put your stone down next to your cross and take time sitting with empty hands, perhaps held palm upwards in prayer, sitting in this desolation with God with all who are desolate.
Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Tomorrow is Holy Saturday, and our Gospel reading will be from John's Gospel, chapter 2, verses 18 to 21, where Jesus, having cleansed the temple, says, Destroy this temple, and in three days. The symbol to go alongside your stone is an empty glass or a bowl. The psalm that can be read before listening to the podcast is Psalm 142. May God continue to bless your Holy Week journey.